Mastering communication, addressing concerns effectively. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a very important aspect of English language learning, especially when it comes to communication skills. We're going to explore the concept of addressing concerns. This phrase is crucial in both personal and professional settings, as it helps us navigate conversations with understanding and empathy. So, grab your notebooks, and let's get started on mastering how to effectively address concerns. Addressing concerns means to deal with, respond to, or tackle issues or worries that someone has expressed. It's about acknowledging the other person's feelings or doubts and providing clarity, support, or solutions to alleviate those worries. This process is fundamental in effective communication because it builds trust and opens the door to constructive dialogue. Addressing concerns is vital for several reasons. Build strong relationships. It shows that you value the other person's feelings and perspectives, which strengthens your relationship. Enhances problem solving. By openly discussing concerns, you can collaboratively find solutions. Reduces misunderstandings. Clear communication helps prevent misunderstandings that can arise from unaddressed concerns. Promotes a supportive environment. Whether in a work setting or personal life, addressing concerns contributes to a more positive and supportive atmosphere. 1. Listen actively. Pay close attention to what the other person is saying without interrupting. Show that you understand their concerns through your body language and responses. 2. Empathize. Try to see the situation from their perspective. This helps in showing genuine care and understanding. 3. Ask questions. Clarify any points that are unclear before responding. This ensures you address the concern accurately. 4. Provide clear responses. Offer clear, concise, and honest answers or solutions to the concerns raised. 5. Follow up. Check back in with the person later to see if their concern has been resolved or if they need further assistance. Let's go through a couple of scenarios where you can practice addressing concerns. Scenario 1. A friend is worried about moving to a new city. Discuss how you would address their concerns about making new friends and finding their way around. Scenario 2. A colleague expresses concern over meeting a project deadline. Explore ways to address this concern, including planning, prioritization, and seeking additional resources. These practice scenarios can help you develop the skills to address concerns effectively in various situations. Thank you for watching, we hope this video has been enlightening and has equipped you with the tools to address concerns more effectively in your daily communication. Remember, addressing concerns is all about empathy, clarity, and action. Practice these strategies in your conversations, and you'll see a significant improvement in your relationships and communication skills. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tips on mastering the English language. See you in the next video.